Hey guys, welcome to this channel. Today I'll be doing a review on this laptop and full teardown and uh, the pros and cons of this. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Welcome to Max's Got Tech. Let's get right into the video. On the front of the laptop, we have a SD card reader. I'm not exactly sure what this one's for. This is a headphone, um, a headphone jack here, um, microphone jack, infrared port. Um, we have our uh, Bluetooth and internet switch. On the left side, we have uh, Ethernet, VGA, DVI, PS port, one uh, USB 2.0 slot. I'm not sure what this one is. This here is actually quite interesting. This is an express card slot. Um, this was used for extra storage, Wi-Fi, expansion, um, or, US, uh, or fast USB. On the back of the machine, we, we have um, weirdly placed ports. We have three more um, USB 2.0 ports, a uh, gigabit LAN, and um, I'm actually not sure this port. This must be pretty useless. I'm not exactly sure what that is for. On this side, we have a DVD player, and uh, that's all. Now, opening the machine up here, there's actually a physical clip. Okay, this is an Acer Spire, um, this is an Acer Spire, uh, uh, this is an Acer, sorry, this is an Acer Travelmate 5720, uh, G. It has, uh, an Intel Core 2 Duo, uh, T, 90, uh, 9,300, ATI, Radeon, um, uh, 2,600, two unfortunately, yes, I know it says Windows Vista, the only version of Windows that I actually could get running on this machine was, um, Windows 8.1, I will indeed in the future, in the future video, try to get Windows 10 running on here, um, let's see how this goes. I can hear the GPU buzzing. Ooh, I actually haven't um, showed this part here yet. These are uh, buttons, like multimedia touch buttons. Like this would go to the internet. This would like um, maybe restart your computer. Uh, you know, um, this would be like a mail. I'm not exactly sure what the other ones are for, um, but I'm guessing like back when they first released this laptop, it was pro. Maybe some of these were programmable. Um, there's actually a weird thing with this keyboard. It's like a smiley face. I'm not sure what they did this for, but I guess it was just for design. We do indeed have a fingerprint reader. Um, I'm just putting my password. Sorry, guys. Just booting into Windows 8.1. Oh, this, this is a little button here. Um, it didn't actually, so on modern laptops when you close it automatically goes to sleep. This presses down um, and then it, and then it goes to sleep. Like if I, if I just blocked this off and got rid of this little knob here that presses it, wouldn't have gone to sleep. But you can actually change that in the um, control panel menu. Um, Yes, I do have this running on the hard drive, unfortunately. And here we are into the operating system. Um, sorry, guys. Um, this has got four gigabytes of RAM. I will try to get some more RAM. Let's, let's see if there's more I can get into this thing. Um, this is Windows 8.1 we have here. I have installed Office and everything in it. Um, oh, once this loads up, I will be testing Minecraft 
on this laptop as well. See, it's not the actual menu from 8.1. I couldn't stand it, so I just installed the classic shell just to make things easier for me. I'm sorry if you do not like it, but um, it just makes it easier for me to uh, film this video on. Um, so I will be testing the laptop in Minecraft. Uh, after the after we do these tests, I will in, uh, open this laptop and show you the inside. Um, yes, it indeed can connect to the internet. I have it connected. Um, I uh, will need to get the charger. So just and Minecraft is loading up. Okay, I will actually be testing Steam games on this as well. Uh, um, I will be testing TF2 and other games as well. And the game has loaded up, and let's get going. Um, I will try in a single player world first, and we'll see how we go from there. I'm really sorry about the picture quality, guys. Um, let's do creative, and we'll let's make this. Um, And... Mm -hmm. 